It's Sunday, October 4th here at the West End Gun Club. This is sort of a quasi range vlog. I didn't really uh, plan on coming out to shoot today, but <clears throat> I had to drop off some equipment. So I brought a ladder here because I needed to get a ladder for the uh, NRL 22 matches. And I came actually to drop off this uh, rooftop barricade that I built. So I'm gonna walk towards it, but only walk backwards. You can side, see behind me. It's uh, me uh, turn the camera around. I'm using my GoPro with no microphone. I'm just using an external mic. But basically, if I can drop this with one hand, uh, sorry, I got these two little ropes here, and then it's rigged up with these casters, so I'm able to uh, care. I can move it around by with uh, by myself. It should handle the dirt pretty well, but it'll definitely handle the concrete. Um, I have this set to a 30 degree angle. I took a little damage here from the from the transport here because I had it flipped upside down in the truck, but. Uh, just painted the top off. We got some of the, uh, I'm sorry, painted the platform, and I've got this uh, kind of this non-slip additive to the paint that I just added to the, uh, mixed in with the paint, so it should have a little bit of drip on it when, you, uh, when you're stepping on it. It's a pretty good angle. Uh, without that grip, it's, you're going to be sliding off a bit. But anyway, I'm going to keep this here. Hopefully, no one messes with it. Um, should probably cross some kind of chain or whatever, but I didn't want to chain it down in the event that it's in the way of the rimfire matches but i don't think the uh the silhouette guys use this side of the range i don't know i've never been to a silhouette match anyway i'm just going to keep this up like this and just prop it prop it upset on its uh forward end like that just leave it here and hopefully uh again hopefully no one messes with it anyway um just sort of uh finishing them off finishing off a snack got a burger a couple burgers jack the box my dad's in the truck but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up my voodoo because I swapped out the bases and I'm back to a 40 minute base instead of a 60. So I went 30 to 60 and I'm back to 40. Um, I, did, I was trying to get get maximum scope or scope adjustment on the elevation turrets with the 60 minute base. But as I mentioned in previous vlogs, I had to dial, I had to basically bottom out the um, scope, literally bottom out the turret in order to get to a 25 slash 50 yard zero. I want a little bit of leeway there, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to 40. Means I won't have maximum 29 mils adjustment on elevation, but it's what it is. Um, we'll work with that and hopefully, um, you know, it's just a, a matter of trying to have an all-purpose rimfire gun. I can't really use something for NRL 22 and extreme long range, you know, effectively, right? You can, but only holding over. So instead of trying to, you know, get maximum 29 mils or all my elevation out of my scope, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just probably build a uh, ELR rimfire gun as opposed to just using one gun for both. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go back to a 40 minute base, have that, have my uh, reticle kind of a little bit above the uh, the bottom of the of the turrets and then build another rimfire gun. And I'll just keep the scope on there if anything, uh, maybe I'll move the scope. I do wanna get a zero compromise scope and if I got a zero compromise, that has plenty of adjustment. I think it has like 33 or 34 mils. I probably could use that on this gun with a 60 minute base and have an all purpose uh, rimfire gun that will work for both NRL 22 and ELR. So I don't, cause you know, ELR, I just want to have maximum scope elevation without having to hold above target. So it's kind of where I want to be with an ELR gun. Anyway, it's starting to get a little breezy here. I want to go ahead and just get set up and get some rounds off just so I can zero, re-zero the, uh, the uh, scope. Um, I'm not really too concerned about windage, but I am concerned about elevation. Hopefully at 25 yards, it won't get messed up too much by the wind, but we're looking at about 12 to 14 miles an hour.
decent groups. These are all tens and then five round groups. This one's better. But I came, so we're coming four left. Four left, four, four, four tenths of a mil left windage for today's conditions. Not all too windy, but windy. Pretty much done at the range. Just uh, shot off about 100 rounds on uh, the Voodoo just to get it re-zeroed. Came to drop off the ladder, which is not in the truck anymore. It's already in the container uh, for the matches. Um, but that's it. A pretty uh, quick day at the range. Again, I didn't plan on coming out. Just came out came out here really to drop some stuff off the uh, barricade and the ladder. But I decided to go ahead and re-zero while I'm here. Um, but that's it for today, Sunday, October 4th. Just a reminder, if you want to shoot the NRL 22 matches, um, we are shooting it earlier this month in October. It's going to be on the 11th. So this upcoming Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday that's coming up. So October 11th, check it out on practice score. And I'll put the link in the description for the video so you can register if you're interested in shooting it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.